Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm, of course, your host, Adrodles Blitz, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the current state of affair that is currently World of Tanks Blitz. Now, I'm going to be honest, this game has been up for eight years, and I think the worst year so far is this year. And the reason behind that is because there are so many newer players coming into the game, which is fine. I, I do not mind newer players coming into the game. What I mind is when Wargaming is able to let these new players not only reach tier 10 in a month, but then when they've reached tier 10, not explain to them how to play the game. There are so many players I find with less than 5,000 battles, sitting at 40% win rate, that do not understand how to play the game. And 90% of the time, it's not the player's fault. I can't blame somebody for wanting to get to tier 10. When I first started playing this game, I wanted to get the 183 and grind it all the way to tier 10. So... I don't blame people for being like me when I first started playing the game, but I do blame Wargaming for not giving players the proper resources and tools for understanding how to get better at the game. I was going to make a video on the K91 today, talk about its really cool burn camo, and the second game I played, the first game was fine, did like 3000 damage, you can see I start it. The second game, I played basically to the best of my ability I could have in this game. I, I maybe missed like one shell. I did like 5,000 damage. And just watch what my team does. And this is the perfect representation of why I don't enjoy playing Blitz nearly as much as I used to. I just feel like the competitive aspect of this game has seriously fallen off in pubs. The only chance you would really have of winning pub battles now is if you try hard in platoons. And that way is fine. I mean, I like platooning, especially with like Flossy because it's fun, and I, I just platoon because it, it's fun to play with friends in this game. But playing solo in this game, I it just... I don't do it anymore because it's not fun to do. So here we go. We got an enemy 57 heavy pushing forwards. We get two shells in them. That's already 700 hit points. And we're going to aim it on the K or Kof Panzer 70 and get another shell. So that's 1,060 hit points I've been able to dump off in a matter of, what, like five seconds there? Unfortunately, my T57 Heavy off to my side has also managed to bleed 2,000 hit points in the same amount of time. So basically, the damage I dealt was then doubled from the enemy team. But it's fine. We'll get some more shells out. We got an FE4005. Here we go. There's one. There's two shells. And let's get that third shell in. Nice. Oh, wait. My Kampf Panzer's dead. Like... <sighs> It's just, it's just sad. This game was just sad. It didn't make me mad, the fact that I lost this game. It just made me sad that every time I dumped a clip out, every time I did something good, somebody on my team made sure that whatever good deed I did was negated because they would die. It, it was, that was basically my game. The enemy team has all three base caps. They have base C, they have base B, and A, because my medium tank is sitting there. I don't know why. Um, my 183 is not actually AFK. He's just been sitting there for some reason. Uh, yeah, uh, I just don't know what to say. We're about to break 3,000 damage. I mean, we're not doing bad at all this game. There you go. There's our 3,100 damage mark. And now I'm going to try and get some shells maybe into the motion or something. I'm just looking at what I want to do right now. There's the enemy Kampfpanzer, and they got an STB-1 and Sheridan flanking our booty. Now, the enemy team played right. Their Sheridan and STB-1 pushed towards the medium side. They were able to come up behind our team, and that's the end of our team. I mean, I'm already down an E50M. I'm down a T57 Heavy. My 183 is about to be flanked by a bunch of mobile mediums and lights, so obviously that's going to be absolutely useless for him. The only player on my team that actually did pretty decent was the 4005, a tank that is probably the least situationally uh, performing in the game, and that was the best player on our team. So, uh, yeah. Oh, well. This game, as I said, it wasn't a, a frustrating game. It was just sad to watch my entire team fall apart while I'm dealing 4,600 damage in this battle in only 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, <laughs> we didn't even lose on tanks being killed. We lost on base cap. That, that was just such a sad battle. 4,600 damage. The next highest was the 4,005. And the Yo wasn't bad either, to be honest. I mean, his win rate is terrible. But because he pushed to the right spot, he was able to do his job. But, like, our E50M, who just didn't even drive over the medium side... I mean, it's just the fact that there are so many players in this game now that do not understand how to play. And... 
I don't know really how Wargaming would fix this because they've brought them up to tier 10 and a lot of these players just don't care at this point now to get better. But Wargaming should still put in an effort. I have asked Wargaming multiple times if I could make videos when you research a tier 10 and when you get the tank, boom, it gives you like a little video that would offer you 10 gold to watch the video and then it would give you a tutorial on how to play the tank. If you don't want to get the 10 gold, then sure, you don't need to watch the video. But it seems to me like a lot of people like the little 10 gold ad videos so why wouldn't you watch a two minute video on how to play a vehicle a little bit better? Why not watch a five minute video on how to perform better on a map for a hundred gold? Wargaming posts that Middleburg map video and it teaches people. I actually liked what they did in the Middleburg video. They showed a lot of good spots on the hill. Unfortunately, they said tank destroyers and heavy should push down, which now means that a lot of players that aren't going to understand this game amazingly are going to start pushing town even more on Middleburg and bolstering their opinions there. Uh, really, the only solution I've come up to how to fix the game is make it 10 versus 10 format. The reason I think that this would actually work is down to the fact that medium side is usually the side that takes L's and then causes your team to lose. Heavy side is pretty self-explanatory, and I find that most heavy players understand how to perform on heavy side. But medium players, they just don't get it. They just drive out in the open on heavy side. They'll push their tank in positions that really don't work. But if it was 10 versus 10 format, and let's say you had four heavy heavies, four mediums, and two tank destroyers on each team, then you would have four mediums, which is normally double your normal medium count. And then you wouldn't have games where you have two mediums versus one or two mediums versus none. I definitely think that would be a much better way to format this game because that way less mistakes would be made from overall teams. I think that would be better. Obviously, it would change how average damage works a bit. You'd be able to get more average damage and it would change survivability. But I think that that would be a very, very very good solution to make this game better. World of Tanks PC has 15 versus 15 format, so even if a couple players on your team absolutely hit the brick, it doesn't matter because you've got other players to make up for that. Unfortunately, in Blitz, that's not the case. That game there, me and that 4005 were the only good players, so everybody else that die don't make up for that, and that's the biggest issue. You need to have superiority on medium side and heavy side to win the game, and if you're just given a loss right out of the bat, then there's no chance you're ever going to get that superiority. This game has just been frustrating for me because I am a competitive player, and that's why I like playing Blitz, because I'm competitive at the game. For the people that say, oh, I just don't take the game casually, well, that's just not how I am. There are people out there that will take games serious, and they'll play it competitive, and that's how I am on this game. So I get quite frustrated when there's no real reason to play competitive, because all of your, your battles are down to a dice roll on who's going to throw. I don't really say say who's the best team anymore. I normally say now, who's the worst team? Whoever usually has the worst players and makes the biggest monkey moves are the teams that lose. That That's what I find. Because the good players are really only farming off of those monkey moves at this point. They just say, oh look, there's an E50M YOLOing. Might as well farm him. And then they just push through. So it's just, at this point, it's, uh, it's just frustrating that this game is no longer competitive for me. And maybe it's, maybe it's two out of three games that I can play competitive but that third game is always going to be a loss because of my team or or the other way around for the enemy team and it's not fun either way when you steamroll or the enemy steamrolls it's just I don't know I, I just don't really love playing this game anymore because wargaming seems like they put zero effort into actually making it competitive but that's my personal opinion let me know you guys think about it in the comments down below right now I've been playing GTA I've been playing risk of rain I've been playing back for blood and left for dead all games I find better than blitz but that's up to Wargaming to decide how to make this game better. If they want to make tutorials or they don't want to make tutorials, that is up to them. If they want to, if they want to collaborate with uh, uh, content creators and, and make better videos for the game and, and make sponsored videos from Wargaming on how to play this game better, if they want to actually ask good players on how to play Middleburg and, and Rockfield and every other map in this game, then that's up to them. But if they want to destroy this game, they're definitely in the path to doing that because all of their competitive players are going to leave the game. I already know a lot of competitive players that don't touch pubs whatsoever uh, and just play uh, just play comp because there's no reason to touch pubs. But hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.